What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in Trade with Josh. We're gonna go over Polygon as well as Ethereum. Uh, we're sitting at dollar sixty-six. We're down about four percent on the day. We're sitting a market cap of twelve point four two billion. Twenty-four hour volume one point one two billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to Crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app, and you can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cashback in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix Prime travel incentives. Depending on the level of card that you have, $25 just for signing up through Marfro. So a little bit of news here. Uh, sorry, guys. It's right here. So Matic price declines. And here's what might stop it per whale stats data. So as we can see here, guys, in the last 48 hours, Matic has seen significant buying from whales. The most recent was that of an Ethereum whale ranking the fourth largest among the 1,000 wallets tracked by whale stats acquiring 750,000 Matic tokens or $1,342,500 worth. Wow, guys, that's a whole lot of Matic. <laughs> and we can see right here, data shows that Polygon sits on top of a significant support barrier. More than 46,000 addresses have previously purchased 3.6 billion Matic between $1.55 and $1.66. Holding above this demand zone can prevent a sell-off and push Matic higher. So we'll jump into the analysis here. You can see that $1.55 is right around this level of support. And I believe it was $1.66, $1.77, which is very close to our current price, guys. So I have noticed a little bit of a pattern here, which is an ascending triangle. You can see we have a bit of a fake out to the upside. So depending on if we hold this level of support here, and we can push back up to this level of resistance. Maybe come back down to this level of support. It is a bullish pattern, guys. Of course, it can always break to the downside as well. But if it were to break to the upside, it could take Matic all the way up to about $2.52. And then if it does break down here, well, Matic's going to come all the way down to about $1.24. If we look at the one hour time frame, we, we are quite in the floor on our indicators, guys, which is usually an early sign. You're going to see a nice push back up. Not always. Sometimes you just consolidate and go lower. Uh, but we're also quite low on our four hour RSI as well as our money flow. If we pop over to our next chart here, guys, you can see that ascending triangle as well as that cup and handle that I have been talking about. If we do lose that level of support, guys, that's pretty bearish in my opinion. We lose this low. We start. We still are in a technical target all the way down to about 64 cents. Uh, Bitcoin would have to come down to about 28, 30K. Always a possibility, guys. But if we do take out this Fibonacci here and we go from this previous swing low, up to the swing high you can see we perfectly met the 1.618 and we saw a beautiful bounce back to the upside however guys we are underneath the emas on the daily so as long as we stay underneath them we hit them as a resistance it will push us down so if you do see us start to fall out of this pattern guys you can look to take a short trade if you like to short the market as it could bring you all the way down to a dollar 10 and that would be a nice little short trade of about 32 31 percent so basically it's do or die for the entire market i do think if we get rejected here we roll out that we'd probably see the continuation of bearish price action for a while here as bitcoin would be losing this key support box you can see we wick down and we just shot back up which is a good sign here but of course we can just continue to consolidate so if bitcoin breaks this box as i mentioned in my bitcoin video it would erase the opportunity for the bulls to create that uptrend so it's crucial times right now in the market um, but we'll go over ethereum here as well so we're here on the daily chart for ethereum you see here we have the left shoulder the head the right shoulder we came up and we got rejected by the emas we rolled so we need to hold this support two triple seven guys support here resistance here that's your key level of support for ethereum as well if we are going to see an uptrend on the daily because we lose that support Support, guys we come all the way down to 2269 and it was just a bit of a bullish fake out as i had been mentioning uh, with bitcoin as well if we hop over to the four hour time frame we are trending towards oversold on our indicators which does give us a good opportunity to bounce but also what you can see is just a little bit of consolidation before dropping lower and we are going into the weekend guys and as we know trading volume is quite low on the weekend so we have to hold two triple seven guys if, it's, if that support is lost it was just a bit of a fake out to the upside and we're going to see continuation of our bearish price action if we look at the ethereum long positions huge increase in longs well we've been going through this correction here but the shorts have been increasing as well guys so it's pretty hard to make a call mostly i'm watching bitcoin to see if we hold this level of support we wick down to 39.6 if that 
that support is lost, guys, we're gonna see continuation of the downtrend. And if we can hold here, break back out to the upside, would be incredible. And then we can see that breakout from our inverse head and shoulders for Bitcoin. Uh, but I don't like the fact that we broke above the EMAs and then we broke below them once again. But we are seeing a beautiful wick down just as we did here and just as we did right here as well. And that can be an early signal of a reversal and a push back to the upside. Hopefully that's what we see. But of course, I always go over bull scenarios. So just a quick little update, guys. You want to watch your support coming in at $1.65. If it is lost, do target about $1.11. Uh, there is a little bit of support and resistance in that area. And if we push back up, your major level of resistance here at 206, and you have a technical target that would bring you up to about $3.27. We have had four buys with our dollar cost average strategy with our break even sitting right around 196. Guys, we dollar cost average into our trades equal amounts at each buy zone brings your average price down halfway each time. If we were to continue to drop, guys, we have buy zones further down to, con to continue to bring down our average price as we get ready to ride the slingshot back up. That's it for Matic. Shout out to the Discord. Over 1,800 members talking all things crypto, posting chart patterns as well as the dca trade strategy fully explain the live dca charts on the channel here and daily buy and take profit zones if you want to start dollar cost averaging into your altcoin positions it's the price of a coffee 350 usd you can sign up to the patreon if you want to trade with me sign up to bybit and i will see you in the next video all right much love take care